Uh, my name is Justin He, and I am currently working with the ARM container team as a technical leader. Today, I'm so excited to discuss a topic uh, for the Linux Security Summit 2023. Uh, the topic is when combination containers meet ARM CCA, is uh, Coco ready to embrace uh, CCA? Hope uh, we can answer this question uh, at the end of this section. Uh, I will be structuring my presentation into five main parts, which are as follows. A background introduction to provide you a better understanding of the topic. Uh, next, I will provide an overview of COCO which is a key technology in the development. Uh, next is the ARMS um, uh, combination container solution. In this section, I will discuss the, the work about uh, what ARM is doing to build a, a such a solution, as well as the um, uh, extended projects related to this work. And the uh, fourth one is uh, the, the current status, uh, including the, the progress of CCA and the COCO on ARMS. Uh, the last thing in sequence is the demo section. I will conclude my presentation uh, with a series of demos uh, to showcase the capabilities and the benefits. So let's begin with the background related to the topic at hand. I plan to, uh, to say a few words about the strong confidential computing trends nowadays. As you can see from this table, um, uh, we can conclude that uh, confidential computing is a hot topic in many leading uh, uh, companies. But um, most of the existing projects, either commercial products or open source repos, are specifically tied to uh, Intel or AMD architecture. So fundamentally, ARM needs, also needs a solution to stand, uh, standardize the, the computational computing consumption at the container level. So in uh, in order to reduce the time to uh, market, when the silicon is ready, uh, CCA can be seamlessly deployed as soon as possible. And that's the reason why we want to get involved in the, the, in the project. So, so uh, now let's turn our attention to, uh, uh, to Coco overview. Um, Coco is a project to standardize the the confidential computing at the task level, uh, container level, and uh, simplify the, its consumption in Kubernetes. And there are many uh, contributors from many leading uh, companies. Um, uh, inside this project, there are a few design rationales. For example, uh, the host software stack must not see or tamper with the container. Uh, the, the, the unmodified containers are needed to transparently deploy it as previously. The CSPs should be removed from the uh, TCB, trust, uh, trusted computing base. And it also aims to support multiple TEs, uh, including CCA, to protect the, uh, the container and the data. Uh, it's worth mentioning that in different architectures, the TCP might have uh, might have uh, different TCP boundary. For example, in CCA, the firmware should uh, uh, should be trusted, uh, and uh, so we uh, I uh, draw this box uh, uh, with red and blue uh, stripes. Let me break down the design aspects of COCO into a few major components. Firstly, uh, the Kubernetes operator for, uh, for COCO includes a dedicated operator, um, which, uh, which essentially uh, is a, uh, 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 
you know, you know uh, uh, op uh, operator for deployment and configuration. And uh, we should uh, introduce the, the new CC uh, runtime uh, to support the ARC specific runtimes. There also features a uh, customized uh, version of container D uh, to support uh, special container image APIs. Um, uh, the second part is about the, the changes to the cut container. Uh, you know, uh, Coco modifies the, the cut container to manage the VM uh, based container lifecycle. Translate a center of uh, uh, VMM APIs and the con uh, cutter configurations to enable the memory uh, protection and uh, CPU register status in confidential guests. Additionally, uh, it blocks uh, some previous APIs that would uh, uh, access, I mean, read or write data from or to the container. The third part is the guest firmware. Um, uh, you know, the runtime uh, uh, attestation inside the guest firmware should be enabled. Um, Involves the, the that involves the, the guest firmware implementation. Coco enables uh, uh, some lightweight alternative uh, to replace the heavy VFI EDK2. Uh, Coco attestation, you know, data uh, data protection or encryption alone is not enough. Uh, so so we should consider uh, the attestation. Uh, Coco also ensures that uh, the owner verifies uh, where, what, and how uh, it, uh, it uh, is running the environment, uh, whether the software stack and hardware platform are inspected, and eventually uh, it will uh, fetch the keys after uh, attestation to decrypt the, the container image. Mm. The last part is about the container image service. Uh, finally, Coco moves the, the previous operations on the host to the guest entirely, such as pull, decrypt, verify, mount, and store. That is called a service offload. It guarantees that all of the, the encryption, decryption, and the, uh, signing uh, verification are inside the TE. Uh, here, I would like uh, to summarize on the benefits of Coco for ARM. Firstly, you know, Coco is uh, focused, uh, uh, focused on the past level user case, and uh, it uh, offers the native multi arc support. It's built, uh, built on, the off, uh, uh, on the production level uh, uh, ready cutter container project. Which makes it, a, uh, makes it a, a reliable and a stable option for container deployment. Secondly, uh, you know, anyway, to support uh, Coco on ARM, ARM needn't modify every component of the Coco here. Uh, this is where um, co cooperating with the community provides a uh, advantage. Coco leverages the existing. Uh, components and the community efforts to provide a, an end-to-end -end solution for deploying uh, containers in a hardware TE. This includes the support for runtime and firmware, attestation firm, uh, framework, uh, and uh, also Kubernetes orchestration. By using Coco, ARM and, uh, uh, can save time and resources in deploying their uh, own solutions. Uh, furthermore, Coco has already been endorsed by many major players in the industry, including CSPs, silicon vendors, and OS vendors. This indicates uh, a high level trust and confidence in the technology. 
Lastly, uh, Coco is also an excellent reference solution for the deployment of containers on ARM CCA. By developing and integrating the various in-house components, uh, such as the kernel uh, KVM, uh, IMM UEFI, uh, and uh, TFA, also the Verify Verizon, uh, ARM can further uh, optim optimize and enhance its solution. So next, uh, I will show uh, how we plan to implement uh, the Coca solution on CCA. What's the rationale uh, points of CCA? Uh, in short, CCA is very similar to AMD SEV and uh, Intel TDX hardware feature. Mm, the hypervisor manages the resources of a real uh, virtual machine, but cannot access those resources, including the CPU registers, uh, memory, okay, I mean, guest memory. The guest memory is protected in two ways. Uh, first is the isolation. That means the invalid access the result uh, in the faults, uh, when certain faults. Uh, Another one is encryption, uh, mainly for reboot attacks. Uh, the IMM uh, is uh, a uh, uh, EO2 implementation inside the realm state. Uh, it exposes uh, it poses two interfaces. The first one is IMI, which provides the service to the host, uh, host software for the creation, management, and uh, execution of the realms. And the second one is the RSI, which provides the service to, uh, to, uh, to those softwares inside a realm for the management of the resource allocated to it. So what's the uh, IMM responsibilities, uh, for example, uh, it manages the, the lifecycle and realms, manages uh, the realm memory with uh, manipulating the, the stage two translation table. It measures the, the initial state of the realm and allow the realm to request a, a measurement, uh, allowing for a, a testation. It also manages the, the context switch uh, between the realm vCPUs the EO3 monitor um, is a TFA uh, monitor supporting the uh, uh, FE, uh, uh, feature RME extension. Uh, essentially, it's a, uh, it provides the management of uh, GPT, a granular protection table, uh, controls uh, the assignment of the memory to a critical address space. Uh, there's uh, also a attestation uh, ROT, root of trust, located uh, in the hardware, essentially a M core, a TFM core, called the uh, ISSA. ISSA is the reference implementation of HES. Uh, next, I will replace uh, some of the uh, components with those involved uh, in COCO to provide uh, you a uh, uh, clear understanding. The Kubernetes, uh, the Catastream V2, and the VMM, including Cumul and the Cloud Hypervisor. Uh, it should be noted that uh, currently uh, Coco doesn't uh, consider utilizing the secure world. Mm. So, what's the impact uh, uh, on the, I mean, software impact on the realm uh, guest and also the host? Uh, for the for the realm uh, guest, uh, the guest kernel enlightenment uh, uh, to support ISI and uh, uh, the in realm uh, firmware, uh, that is the guest firmware, also should be changed. And it provided the, the, the support uh, uh, to, uh, share 
sharing the memory with the host and also provide the, the, the measurement and uh, attestation. Uh, with regarding to the host impact, and the host kernel uh, KVM supports uh, with the IMAC, and uh, there's no impact to the host firmware, for example, bootloader. So uh, this is what a confidential container solution would look like on ARM. Little bit complicated. Uh, only a rough idea is needed, and I will give you the details later. The red box uh, mean uh, to offering uh, confidentiality uh, guarantees by the using the uh, hardware level features. The blue one uh, means the resources uh, managed by the, the host, and they are used to run the container. The green ones, uh, mm, belongs to the tenancy. Uh, they are the confidential areas uh, carved out of the host, but not visible or uh, no uh, accessible to it. The other boxes uh, are the remote rely parties. So uh, here, as you can uh, see, the highlighted, highlighted boxes, boxes I select what we plan to do into five parts where ARM can contribute to enhance or enable the CTA features. Uh, I will elaborate more on the subsequent uh, slides. The first part is the Kubernetes uh, uh, Cocoa operator. Um, essentially, it's a uh, uh, the operator is an extension introduced to manage the confidential resources without changing the uh, Kubernetes itself. Now, in our plan, we, we want to enable the, the parity features as x86. Also, want to introduce the, the new uh, CC runtime, uh, provide a multi arc support or a few features, a few, a few images. Uh, we also e will initiate a solution uh, based on uh, CCA uh, by, by uh, based on the Kubernetes uh, operator for CCA. The part two uh, is about uh, to change the Change the cut, uh, cut around time life cycle. Uh, this is the previous flow, simple and very straightforward. Uh, that is uh, the previous flow before uh, we enable the, the CCA. Then here is the, the update to the flow for CCA uh, highlighted in purple. The owner tricks a poor image command as previously. Uh, the, uh, the confidential containers runtime on the host starts, uh, starts a uh, VMTE uh, in, in, uh, in CCA. In CCA case, uh, it is a VM. Uh, VM. And then the 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 guest uh, the uh, the, agent, the cutter agent uh, or test agent performs the, the remote attestation to the rely party, and uh, got the keys required to verify and decrypt the container image, and then do download the image and uh, decrypt uh, decrypt the image and starts the image as usual. So we were, we will be implementing the POC of uh, Kata uh, API or configuration changes for uh, CCA to use QMU to start a realm guest. We also plan to provide the cloud hypervisor changes. Mm, for the attestation part uh, in Kata uh, agent or attestation agent, we also plan to implement the corresponding interface especially for TCA. 
part three, uh, as per the remote attestation procedures, RAS for short, uh, the architecture specification, as, as uh, uh, the community proposed a uh, key broker service, KBS, and attestation service, AS, KBS implements the rely party. And uh, uh, the attestation age, uh, service uh, implements the verifier. Actually, uh, essentially, it is a verifier proxy uh, on ARM because it will co communicate to the remote verifier, verifier, and uh, behave as a proxy. Uh, another component for the key policy and the key management connecting to the KMS generally provided by the CSP. Uh, the whole architecture aligns well uh, with the REST background check method. Just like uh, a company use, uh, uses to verify that an uh, individual is who uh, they claim to be. The employee, uh, uh, as a attester, uh, provides uh, the claims about education or previous uh, experience. The employer uh, relying party will contact uh, to the organization verifier. Uh, to validate uh, um, the claim, that is the education work experience. The attestation agent uh, uh, in the TEE uh, send a request to the KBS, and the KBS will decide whether the attestation uh, is needed. If it is needed, KBS uh, will reply a challenge to the uh, attestation agent. Then the agent will send the evidence to the KBS. KBS will relay the evidence to AS uh, for the verification. AS will reply the, the attesting result to the KBS after the verification is finished. If the results are, results are verified by the KBS, uh, for example, it has passed, to uh, execute the corresponding resource key uh, fetching operation and uh, send it to the send it to the uh, attestation agent. Here we plan to integrate Verizon into the verifier part of the uh, KBS. Uh, we also need to adapt the Verizon. Um, communication API between the components. Uh, to enable the whole attestation process on ARM, we need to uh, also need to implement the verifier driver and the attestator driver, which uh, were, uh, which are the ARC specific. The top four, um, the UEFI EDK2 from kernel team had provides the uh, that provides a secure boot for loading CCI guest kernel and the runtime service. Uh, it plays a key role in the measurement and attestation. It also provides uh, the boot information injection. It, uh, essentially, is a, a block of uh, non-secure memory created by the host for booting memory uh, passing and uh, activate, activating. Uh, for the realm. Typically, it can be used uh, to pass the, the, some secret, for example, key. Um, here is the evolution diagram on the, uh, on the uh, Intel x86 for the guest firmware and uh, its parity for the ARM, what we call the in realm firmware. Uh, TDVF is a sub-package uh, set special for TDX, 
uh, guest. And uh, TD Shim uh, is written by the Rust. Community still want to unify different architecture guest firmwares for, uh, to a common implementation, uh, what is called a CC Shim. Our plan is the similar. Abstract, uh, firstly, uh, abstract to the necessary, uh, abstract the necessary and minimal libraries from UEFI to support the RAM guest boot, and then, re then rewrite the, the uh, guest firmware by uh, Rust language. And uh, at last, we will merge the new uh, new guest firmware implementation into CC ship. Uh, this additional part is uh, arc uh, agnostic and out of ARM uh, scope now. I uh, just made it, uh, made it clear enough to understand. There are many keys in Cocoa project. So, so let's focus on uh, the keys of uh, encryption and uh, uh, decryption uh, for the container image. So this is the key, uh, the image key management uh, flow looks like. Mm, the owner will encrypt the, the container image and push the image to the remote registry. Also, um, um, specifically speaking, the owner will first uh, dynamically generate a uh, uh, random uh, symmetric uh, uh, key and uh, encrypt the cont uh, container image uh, with the symmetric uh, key. And the second, uh, second step is encrypt the symmetric key with the owner's key, uh, for example, pri private key, so-called uh, 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 the wrapped key. Then the third step is uh, uh, to write the, the wrapped key into the container image manifest as the, the content of uh, annotation of the uh, container image. So then uh, the owner will let the trusted uh, service, for example, KMS, to manage its pop key. The agent uh, will, uh, agent inside the, the TE will pull the image uh, inside the VM and start uh, the attestation. After the uh, uh, complete the attestation, uh, and uh, if the uh, attestation is passed, uh, the agent will get the decrypted key from the relying party. And uh, if everything is fine, the container will be uh, decrypted and started as normal. So what's the current status of COCO and uh, CCA? Regarding to the, uh, the COCO project, uh, the, the initial date, and uh, uh, our patches for cut containers supporting the Realm guest booting and the COCO attestation are under internal uh, review. And in terms of uh, CCA software, uh, uh, and the firmware status here are the list uh, of the patches, including uh, IMM uh, kernel QMU PDK2. Uh, the CCA extension faster model has been released. Uh, here is the roadmap of uh, uh, Cocoa RR. Currently, we are working on the first demo um, and on fast model and CTA attestation enablement. So our, uh, our future plan um, uh, for COCO involves uh, several exciting parts here. So following that, we have the demo section. Uh, to save your time, I, um, uh, uh, I made the, the de uh, uh, demos in another video. So you can you can uh, you can watch the video in another. Uh, the presentation, including three videos uh, demos, um, showcasing the 
the creating features of the pet containers in CCA enabled faster model. The first one is to start the cut container direct boot via QMU. Uh, the second one is compared the, the memory uh, protection uh, feature for cut container, uh, like uh, um, write something in the guest uh, guest memory and uh, uh, to verify to whether the host or hypervisor can access the, the guest uh, guest memory. The third one is to start the cut uh, container with the guest firmware boot, EDK2. So that's the snapshot. Okay, got, uh, got the, the evidence uh, uh, from the D messenger and the Kumbo para, uh, parameter list. So let's review the outline of the talk today. And nowadays, there's uh, a strong trend towards the computational computing. So after discussion with the com uh, community, we have been keeping uh, COCO requirements aligning well with the um, CCA model. So it's time to uh, start building a E2E uh, reference solution for ARM CCA. Uh, it will be better to get involved in the extended uh, projects uh, to enhance the COCO. And the roadmap of COCO on ARM CCA uh, has been drawn up and everything is on the, on the track. So let's come back to the question in the subtitle, is the COCO ready to embrace CCA? I think the answer is should be yes. Uh, we are under the way. By the way, if you have any additional inquiries or questions, please uh, uh, do not hesitate to reach me, uh, reach out to me at the uh, mail mailbox here. Thank you for the time. That's all.